My name is Micah Seibel. I'm a firefighter with Tulsa Fire Department, and today we're going to go over the techniques we're using to apply hypochlorous acid. What we're currently using to spray the product is a gravity-fed paint sprayer, and we're using a stationary air compressor. We also have the ability to plug into one of our SCBA air cylinders, and we also have outlets on our apparatus that we can use that makes it more effective for on-scene decontamination either of the apparatus or of our personal protective gear that we're wearing or any other equipment that we have on scene. When we're applying the product, just spraying a light, light dusting over the apparatus and any of our equipment, just allowing that product to settle on the surface and naturally dry. If there's any residue on the windshield or windows or anything else, we can come back later after everything's dried and wipe that down. But we want that product to stay on the surface to be most effective. So the setup we have here is our air cylinder from our air packs. We have our inline gate, we have our regulator here, and then an adapter that goes to our quick connect on our air cylinder. The gun that we're using is a gravity feed paint sprayer. We've put a regulator in line. That way we can adjust the pressure. So whether we're running off of an air cylinder, an apparatus, or our air compressor, I don't have to make any other changes to settings on any other equipment. Everything can be done right here at the gun. What we've found works best is running our paint sprayer at about 40 PSI. And the smaller the tip, the better. So when we're spraying this, we're getting a nice thin fog. There's not a lot of really big droplets. So you get a nice even coverage. It dries a lot faster. And we found it to be more effective. <laughs> 